Look at the full fit. Sis, don't slip off the couch now, girl. Sis, core engaged. That's what we do. Kathy. Holy crap. Bonjour everyone, bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Atavia, je suis Atavia, moi c'est Atavia. Welcome back to my channel. I am an expat, currently residing in Paris, and I just share my honest opinions, my stories, my journeys about life abroad, life as an expat, traveling, etc. Life as a thick bleach etc etc i just share my story i share my experience is and i hope it's helpful to you in some way or i hope you enjoy it i have hi doggy there's a doggy my neighbor across the way because i'm very much via vie, which means you can like see your neighbors i can very much see my neighbors like my neighbor is fully in the window right now i can see a full person not a shadow but they have a doggy and I just like staring at it. Like I can become friends with a dog. That's how close and how much I can see them. I can, if I reach across out my window, I can probably grab somebody's hand. That's parents for you. I, I was no pair a few times. I mean, I've, <laughs> I'm no stranger to it. I've shared a few times here on my channel, my experiences. Today, I just want to share with you guys some funny entertaining awkward stories <laughs> about my experience being an au pair but we're gonna get into that right after this so i just have to come through and officially let you guys know i am now an anna luisa ambassador woo woo! it means with over the next few months we're gonna see some amazing ways that i style my anna luisa pieces and just ways that i use them in my everyday life you guys have seen me talk about anna luisa constantly uh, i love their pieces some pieces that i wear every single day are pieces that i've had for since last year so this is the reason why i continue to promote them on my channel and let you guys know because i think anna luisa is truly amazing and i'll also gladly share with you guys some of my favorite pieces in my little not my dirty jewelry box hold on i will gladly share with you guys some of the other pieces that i have in my jewelry box you know you guys have heard over and over from me the sustainability aspect of anna luisa how they're carbon neutral how they're very upfront with their practices and the materials that their products are made with i'm currently wearing one of my new faves which is a beautiful butterfly let's zoom in come on zoom 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 make my heart go boom boom my supernova girl is that the song can you see how pretty that is it's just so dainty and beautiful and then we have these pieces which I've also had for like a year now. So as I'm like currently re-evolving and reimagining my personal style, my Anna Luisa pieces are just pieces that I'm able to layer with because I love the look of just having a whole bunch of rings on, a lot of necklaces, and feel super cool and super cute. So these are great starter pieces. And this is the one that you guys see me layering with a lot. So I'll wear a small one like this and just layer this one on the bottom because it's just a beautiful locket chain. But this is one of my staples these pieces are just great ways to style and to amp up your look so if you guys want to pick out some yourself click that link in my description box down below and use my code atavia10 for 10% off your order all right now let's continue to the stories y'all ready for some stories i'm gonna try my best to like paint the picture <laughs> okay so both of these stories take place when I was an au pair in España, Spain. I mean, I can preface this by saying when I went to Spain, I knew zero Spanish. And in fact, I did no research on the region of Spain that I was going to and did not know that they spoke a completely different language. Not completely different, but it was not just Spanish. It was actually called Catalan. Catalan, Catal Catal like I was in the region of Catalonia and they have their own where they want their own independence from Spain so they actually speak a uh, language in themselves yes they speak Spanish but it's north of Barcelona south of France like very very north Spain is called Catalonia and basically they speak Catalan so when I arrived 
I spoke no Catalan. I spoke no Spanish. I was just. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. But you know, we all go through those moments where we're just like, have no clue. <laughs> and this was very much a no clue moment for me. Anyway, this first story. For some reason, I'm feeling inclined to title them. So this first story is going to be called... <laughs> Wait, let's start you in Spanish. This story is called... Um, pots, um, pots, Basically, can you measure me? This was towards the end of my au pair experience. And my host family and their two lovely daughters and I, they decided that it was time to go on vacation. So we went on vacation to a little city in La Scala. Ah, ha, ha, I remembered. So we decided to go on vacation to La Scala. It's a very well-known beach town, but it's very small and quaint. But a lot of people go there for like their summer vacations or whatever. Mind you, this is the first host family that invited me on vacation with them after three. Anyway, we arrive in this town. It's very small, not very uh city like uh just you know qu quaint you guys may or may not know i also do some modeling so at this time i had found this casting call that was casting for plus size models back in la and i figured since i was going to be leaving spain soon and you know i was going back to la i would just apply I needed to take my measurements. And so I was like, you know what? Okay, I have to find a way to find a tape measure to measure my body, to get my waist, my hips, my bust measurement, my height, et cetera, et cetera. I was like, okay, I need to find a fabric store, uh, Joanne's Crafts, because I'm from the United States. And I know if you find an arts and crafts store, something like that, they gonna have what you call a tape measure. So... <laughs> I go on Google, I try to find a fabric store, I also go on Google Translate, and I'm like, okay, tape measure. Let me get what the translation is for tape measure, so when I go to the store, I can ask them, and my little zero Catalan that I knew, do you have a tape measure so I can measure my body? So here I am in a small town, not much here thinking I was going to find a whole Joanne's Fabrics, a whole Michael's Craft store. Now, I searched on Google Maps. I found this one place, and on Google Maps, it said Fabric Store. So I'm like, fantastic. I'm about to go in there. It's going to be big. It's going to have fabric. It's going to have sewing supplies. It's going to have what I'm looking for. Are you dumb? I think she's I dumb. I think she's dumb. I think she's dumb. I don't know what I thought I was going to find in the middle of North Spain in a small town. But what I found was not a fabric store. Even though Google told me it was a fabric store. Mind you, it was like a private place where you had to ring a doorbell and everything. So I'm like, okay, I guess it's here. And I ring the doorbell. Someone lets me in and I walk in and it's just a woman at a desk. It's like a reception area. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, this is not what I thought, but I guess, I, I guess maybe they have fabric and stuff in the back. Okay, I guess. Then I go up to this woman speaking whatever I thought I was speaking. And I'm like, do you have a tape measure? She looks at me and she's like, And I'm like, I said tape measure, why are you looking at me like that? And then she's like, uh, I don't know. And she like looks around her desk and she pulls out this thing that's a tape measure, y'all. When I saw this tape measure, I'm like, what is she doing? Why is she showing me this thing? Like, I'm a very awkward person at this point in my life in 2018. So the fact that I even had the courage to go to the store was a lot for me. So when I see that she pulls out a tape measure, I'm just like, oh crap, uh, I did something wrong. I came all the way here across the town, walked across the town to find this place. And this lady pulls out this thing. What am I gonna do? At this point, I'm too deep in and I'm like, got to, to see, see it through, through my boy. boy. It's already awkward. I'm already embarrassed. And I'm like, can you measure me? 
pleasure me? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. <laughs> I asked this woman to measure me with that tool that's a tape measure that's actually called a tape measure and she actually does it and the whole time while it's happening there's just awkward silence she's trying to put this thing under my foot and measure a 510 woman so she like measures me it's very awkward we say nothing and then she tells me what my measurement was and i'm like i can't ask this woman to measure my waist with this tape measure one that's dangerous two i look stupid right now so i'm gonna just you know walk off and leave this establishment so i leave immediately it's not until after I leave the office that I realized the tool I was looking for is called fabric tape. Not a tape measure. I wanted fabric tape. <laughs> awkward. Awkward is me. I, I used to be awkward. But if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell. It makes a difference so you're notified when I upload a new video. Now, story number two, we're gonna call <laughs> Late Night Surprise. Don't I sound like a voice actor? Doesn't my voice sound so soothing? Maybe I'm gonna talk like this the whole time. Y'all gonna find out in a minute while I'm calling it a Late Night Surprise, cause it was a surprise to me, girl. So let me set the scene once again. This is Spain, Catalonia, midsummer. Spain is very, very hot. This day was my day off. It was, I believe it was the weekend and my family had told me like the day before or the day of that they're going away for like five days to their grandparents' house in a different city in Catalonia. So I'm like, cool, cool. I'm gonna be home alone for the next few days. This is great, fantastic. I don't really have anything to do, but good, you know, I have time off. And then like at night I come home, it's super hot. I, my room was in the back of their apartment. So my room was extra stuffy. It was a tiny little box with a twin bed in it and like a closet and that's it. It was very small. So I'm like, it's too hot back here. I can't do it. It's humid. I'm sweating. I'm not gonna stay back here. They had like a beautiful, cute little apartment with like a great view. But I'm like, I'm gonna sit in the living room because it's a lot cooler. It has a ceiling fan. Also, I can open the doors so I'm not like sweating my balls off this whole time. So I decided to sleep in the living room for the night. Bad, bad, bad idea. So I like bring my stuff out of my room. I bring my laptop so I can watch a little Netflix, Hulu, whatever. And I'm just like chilling for the night, you know, I'm watching some... I was watching uh, My Gym Partner's a Monkey. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was that. And I'm just, I'm on the couch chilling. And then I'm so like, it's hot. It's sweaty. I'm sweaty. I can't do this. When you're hot, what are the things that you do? You start to remove articles that are making you hot. So I'm like, okay. It's too hot. I'm gonna take off this wig. Oh, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. Wig oh off. God. Wig is off. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fantastic. But it's it's still hot. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just remove my shirt. I got on a sports bra. I have my pants on. I'm gonna just take off a top. It's hot. Let it breathe. It's still hot. And mind you, it's like 10 p.m. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be home alone for five days. Let me take off my bra. Sports bra. Whoosh. Off. Titties out. Wig off. Braids out. It, you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? And then I just, I keep having this inkling like, girl, maybe you should pack it up. Maybe you should like sleep in your room tonight. Maybe you should stop watching TV, like put your clothes back on. And I'm like, why would I do that? I'm about to be home alone all week. So about like an hour or two after that, like midnight, 1 a.m., I don't know. I feel this feeling like, okay, girl, no, you should really pack it up and be done. And I'm like, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. 
And then a few moments later, what do I hear? We all know that universal sound. In the door. And in the next minute, I see a face. I see a face of my host dad. Because the way that their apartment is set up, like there's not, it's not a big place at all. Like once you walk in the door, you can see the living room in two seconds. So in two seconds, I see the host dad's face and we make eye contact. Wig is off, fuzzy braids out. And they never seen me without a wig. Beyond that, I have no top on and no bra on. So we just have raw titties out. Even though it was late, I'm pretty sure my laptop screen was glaring on my titties, a bright blue light. So I know, I know for a fact, he saw some things. And I have like 0.00, .00 microseconds to make a choice and decide what I'm gonna do. So in 0.02 .00 microseconds, I grab my wig, snatch that was on the back of the couch, snatch it, grab the blanket that was next to me, flip it over me. I have never moved so fast. So just like, it was just a an instinct. I've never moved so fast in my life. So I grabbed the wig, grabbed the blanket, wrapped myself in a burrito really quickly and like cower in shock, in fear that that is, that happened. So I'm under this blanket in a burrito, panicking and saying to myself repeatedly, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. I'm not kidding you. I was literally saying that over and over, trying to calm myself down, trying to convince myself that I'm dreaming and that my titties wasn't just out and my host dad didn't just see them, but he did. They're coming in with the kids, it's late night. They're trying to like get settled down and I hear the girls asking, is that Atavia? What is she doing? Why is Atavia there? Who's that? Like I heard them kept asking that in, in Kazama and I'm like, oh crap, I've been caught red-handed, titties out, blowing in the wind, free balling. I had no way to explain myself. So after they finally settle and go to bed, I grab all my things and ran to my room and said nothing. <laughs> so for the rest of my time there, which was like a week, never brought it up. They never brought it up. I never mentioned it. I didn't want to talk about it. I was too embarrassed, even though Spain or this region of, of Catalonia was very uh, kind of liberal in that way. Like I've seen many people half naked at the beach and stuff. I just didn't want to talk about it. It's not normal for me. Uh, and yeah, that's the story of a late night surprise or titties in the wind or titties for dinner, whatever you want to call it, it happened. So these are my two au pair stories. I hope that these kind of help you with your au pair journey. Just something that's anecdotal for you because I know it's October. I know like a lot of you guys who are au pairs have already been in au pair for like a month or a month and a half now. So you kind of just get the gist of it. It can still be uncomfortable at this point. I get it. I've done it a few times. I understand. So I just hope that these stories will like <laughs> help you through a little bit or, or inspire you whatever it may be. I thank you guys for watching this week's video <laughs> and let me know <laughs> what was your favorite story. If you have any funny au pair stories to share, leave them in the comments down below and let's talk and chat and talk about our awkward encounters. And all right guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all. Bisous.